Welcome back guys, we showed in the last video what the profits are for each of two petrol stations if they work together to maximize their total profits. But now let's consider the scenario where they don't collude, but rather one of them betrays the other by lowering the price to $1.20 in an attempt to gain market share and get extra profit at the other one's expense. So is this going to be effective? The whole idea of it is that if one petrol station has a lower price than the other, all of the customers should go to the cheaper one because they're offering the exact same product in the same location, just with different prices. So how effective is this going to be in increasing profit? Well, if we have a look back here, we know that the optimal price and quantity combination for the oligopoly collectively was this here. But you may notice that this quantity they sell is actually very low compared to what they would optimally sell if they had infinite demand. If demand weren't there to restrict how much they could sell, then they would want to keep selling and selling and selling as long as the price is greater than the marginal cost and then profit would be maximized here. But they can only get that far and they could lower this gap by